We are in London for ECW, and that means only three things, taxis, buses, and red phone boxes. But we also had the big red machine too. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling, here to review ECW from the 16th of October 2007, the day before your birthday, the day before you turned the big seven. The big seven guys, yes. Lucky number seven. What a year to be alive, I remember. Benoit's death, ECW flourishing, I mean, come First on. First wrestling show I went to, come two, on. 2007 had it all. Russell, rest, Donald Trump. John Cena getting injured. <laughs> what, what a time I to be. It, I don't think it was an injury, man. It was, <laughs> come on, man. It was steroids. Uh, what, what a time. To, Jericho returning to the WWE. What a time to be alive, man. Eh? 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 TNA. Probably going into his best year up to that point. I mean, fantastic. Take us back to 2007. Exactly. I want to be there. Sadly, it was 16 years ago, and it doesn't even sound right to say it was that long ago. Yeah, definitely crazy. Because 16 years ago from 2007 seems a lot longer than... 91? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's scary. It doesn't, it doesn't even seem right. Like, it's crazy to think that between 2007 and 91 is the same amount of time from 2007 to 2023. It just yeah. shouldn't be the case. But for some reason, it is. Anyway, let's talk about what happened. So CM Punk got beat last week by John Morrison. This leads John Morrison to come out. He's bragging about it. And you know what? Rightfully so, because he did beat CM Punk clean. Albeit, he had to nearly damn kill him to get the victory. But yeah, dropped them on his neck. That was a brutal spot. Yeah, that could have been a... And, and I mean, talk about neck breaker moves. I mean, that could, that could have been a neck breaker. Literally, literally could have been a neck breaker. Aye, literally. Aye, aye, literally. It's always good to use that word in the correct context. Anyway, John Morrison was using some words such as the sham and the sex and he thinks that we should vote for him in this poll for Cyber Sunday. The poll is between him The Miz and Big Daddy Fee. Obviously whoever wins that poll will challenge CM Punk. He says look, I did beat Punk I'm the only man to beat Punk and I am the sham and the sexy so vote for me. But The Miz comes out, Miz doesn't agree with this it's like, how are you the sham and a sexy? I'm the chick magnet. I get more chicks in one night than you've had in the last year. So the Miz... And he said your lifetime. Or lifetime, whatever. Lifetime. Well, he said both, but he said lifetime after year, because that makes sense. You wouldn't start with lifetime, then go year. Yeah, narrow it down. A week? <laughs> 20, 40 hours? Ho -ho. 10 minutes. 10 seconds. Yeah, three, three minute, minute warning. warning. Yeah, whoa-ho. Anyway, oh, so uh, the, the, the Miz thinks, because oh. he's... I mean, the Miz is not much of a chick magnet that he's losing Kelly Kelly to Balls Mahoney, so, I mean, this doesn't really... Logic you know, <laughs> is uh, feeling the Miz here. Yeah, the, the Miz, his argument's really not winning for me. But then you, t you talk about chick magnets, out comes Big Daddy Fee. Matt Stryker the remains... The magnet. <laughs> Fridge. Uh, but uh, Matt, Matt, Matt Stryker reminds us that Big Daddy Fee is double the size... Um, of he says that both of you aren't even you know Big Daddy Fee's as big as both of you and I think someone's going to have to correct Max Stryker here because we had to correct um, McMahon you, no Joey, Joey Styles, Styles. You, you got to understand Big Daddy Fee is not double the size of the average human he is three times the size so get it right Stryker anyway CM Punk comes out he talks about their match at Cyber Sunday but he says they've got a match tonight and as of course we know it's going to be a handicap match three on two who is Punk's tag team partner though you look at these W roster, you're thinking, I mean, who has he literally got to pick from here? Balls Mahoney, Tommy Dreamer? Yeah, I mean, who is he going to pick? Who's a face that actually would pick though? I mean, it would be, it's probably Tommy Dreamer at this point, on, if it's ECW. It can only be, well, Tommy Dreamer got killed last week. Ah, so he's probably out of action, he's... It's all <laughs> over for Yeah, me, it's all over for Tommy. Turns out it's not Tommy though. It turns out it's someone for Smackdown and it is the big red machine. Kane comes out, we get the match. The match went on very long. Oh, it's a good match. It went on very long for an ECW yeah, show, but considering it's only an it's hour like long. Half the show. Yeah, so good match. Kane hits the choke slam on Miz. One, two, three. We have the winners, and it is CM Punk and Kane. After the match, John Morris and the Miz are upset. They both blame each other. They both kind of challenge each other to a match of the night. The Miz accepts, but before he walks off, he turns back around and decks John Morrison sucker punch to the mouth, and it looked like it was sore. Slap, damn it! I, I'm not really, I'm not actually a fan of when they slap people in WWE. I feel it's more of a feminine thing to do. I feel like it works when like Steph McMahon does it. Yeah, it's very feminine. Like I, I'm just not, like I'm not a fan of it personally. What did you think of John Cena slap angle? I, I don't. I, but is that why it's more disrespect rather than he actually wanting to hurt somebody? Is it seen as a sign yeah, of disrespect? Yeah, and it makes sense. Well, tested it. It was like a callback to it. I, I feel like grown men shouldn't slap each other. I feel like it should be punches. Like Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. 
It's just not... It, I mean, realistically, should that not be like an uppercut? True, but can he not maybe get away with it a bit more if he doesn't punch him? Maybe if he slaps him, it's considered uh, not really a physical... Even though it I is see, a I strike. I see where you're coming from. I don't think a slap's ever killed anybody. True. If Ben Wash slapped his family... Yeah, but he just looked weak from Will mess. Smith's point of view. I mean, he slaps the guy who's burying his wife and he just stood there. Like, forget about Will Smith. He makes shit movies. We were talking about ECW. What about Jimmy Man? What about that bad boy uh, movie? Who? Jimmy Man, never watched that? No. What about Gemini? DVDs, man! Anyway, let's so The Miz, basically, Dex, John Morrison. Morrison hits the deck. And there you go. That's it. We're getting a match tonight. Balls Mahoney, then, is talking about The Miz. Kelly Kelly approaches him. Kelly Kelly then, he asked her a couple weeks ago, would she go on a date with him, or even last week, and she doesn't give him an answer, but instead she flips it around and she asks him, will you go out with me? So, looks like it's Balls Mahoney is the one that has to answer, and surprisingly he says yes. If I don't I don't know, alright, we've just been hacked by the Russians, I don't know, is there a presidential election going on here? I don't think so. Anyway, did you get the answer? What did Kelly Kelly say? No, wait, she asked him, what did Balls Mahoney say? Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah, you're for real, Kelly? Kelly? Kelly! Take my arm, Kelly. We got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, one, someone, if it, one of us actually watched this. The other one doesn't have a fucking clue what is happening here. I've but... seen what happened. <laughs> well, you're the same guy that had the rewatch it to actually know what happened, right? Well, I'll you expose you. You, 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 you don't know shit. Just you go back on Twitter, mate, and talk to the Russians. I'll talk right? to the Russians. We're, we're, back on, uh, we're back in the GM office, I guess. Armando Estrada. He's talking to Ficky. He thanks Ficky for allowing Kane to be on tonight's show. And then she talks about a partnership that... Smackdown guys are going to be appearing on ECW, she reminds him that this partnership goes both ways and she expects ECW people to appear on Smackdown, so this is the beginning here of a talent trade or a talent share and essentially ECW Smackdown did this for a couple of years where you would just get Smackdown people on ECW and ECW people on Smackdown. Ficky says we're not done there, she's got another pair of talents that she wants Estrada to see. In comes Jesse and Festus. Jesse's happy to be there. Festus doesn't even look like he knows he's there. Estrada tells Vicky what's wrong with his face. She's like, oh, don't worry about it. She says something in Spanish. Jesse's like, oh, don't worry. He's a great tag team wrestler. Then they take on Elijah Burke and Nudzio. Very strange tag team. Just shows that what do you think? Elijah Burke's going down the drain. That's what yeah, he's going down the drain, aye, because I mean, he's teaming up with little Guido here, Nudzio, and they're coming out with Elijah Burke's music, and like one week, Nudzio's a face, next he's a heel, and it's just not even a fucking real tag team. And the, the fact that Burke's been sent out here to job out to this team, it just, you know, no one really How leaves. long does Burke last? 2008? I don't think he gets to 2008. <laughs> Remember him taking on Batista on SmackDown, but I mean, does it that. Shows, it shows you how, how far people can go downhill. Yeah, because it wasn't that long ago, McMahon was in ECW putting him over as the next big thing. You must have done something backstage though. You're the future of this company, I don't think so. Then we get the main event, it's The Miz versus John Morrison, but before anything can really happen, Big Daddy V comes out and eats them both. Well, not really, but he lays a beat down, he leaves them both laying out in the middle of the ring. And if you're going to have to make your foot, if you're picking in the option for the Cyber Sunday match based on who looks more dominant, you'd have to pick Big Daddy Fee, because he's pretty much destroyed both his competitors here tonight. So yeah, that was it. Uh, ECW's over, it was, it was alright. We've seen SmackDown guys on it, we get the, the new SmackDown ECW Alliance deal. A decent opening match or whatever. I thought it was alright, you know, I'll, I'll give it a 4 out of 10. Like, it's it was, weird though that that match kicked off the show. It was, it was but, a placement. Yeah, but they can't ex know what's going to happen. They can't really change it, can they? I guess so, but I'm going to get a 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10, I 3.5 out of 10, guys. That's it. Catch you in the next one. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. We'll see you later for more ECW. Till next time, peace.